Okay, hi students. This is another blue pen tutorial, and this time we'll be looking at adding fractions. This is a GCSE grade num. This is a GCSE grade D, and it comes under the topic of number. So, let's begin. So, adding fractions when the bottom number, the denominator is the same, is actually rather intuitive. So, let's say for instance we have a quarter, add two quarters. Now, if you think of this in terms of something tangible, like, I don't know, a pie or a cake or something like that, then I'm going to cut it up into quarters, which is into fours. So, if I have one quarter of it, that's mine, and someone else, let me get a different pen here, it's a bit dry, has two of those quarters, we can see that all together we have one, two, three of those quarters. Now, notice that the bottom number stays the same. That's because the amount of quarters available to us so stays the same. And that's because the number of resources, the number of things that are available to us is not going to change. So the bottom number is going to stay the same. The top number, however, we just add it, we just add it up. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, let's now look and apply that. Let me get something else here. Let's now look and apply that to something when the bottom numbers aren't the same. So I'm going to stick with the same quarter, but this time I'm going to add to it a third. Now, first of all, I know there's going to be a natural instinct to just say 2 over 7 because I've added the top and added the bottom. But when we look again, uh, what we instinctively know to be true, sorry, that's the wrong one, what we instinctively know to be true, we know that the bottom number is all the resources available to us. Now, that's why we know that this doesn't make sense, because I've got a quarter of something and I've got a third of something. That doesn't mean I've got, I've got the cake split up into seven pieces. So we really need to think about this. First of all, we're going to think of a way to split up the cake so that whatever number of pieces we have, it's easy to take a quarter of it and it's easy to take a third of it. So, the easiest way to split up the cake is by multiplying these two numbers together. So, 4 times 3 will give us 12. So, the number we can use is 12. So, a quarter of the cake, we just multiply by 3 because that's what we multiplied at the bottom to make our 12. So, a quarter of the cake would be three pieces. So let me go ahead and draw this here. So I've got, uh-huh, put it in quarters. Each of these quarters I'm going to split up into three. Mm -hmm. And that will give me 12. So I've just instinctively said it there myself. To make 12, I've had to split each of these quarters into three. So we know that there's three twelfths in a quarter. The same way, if I want to split it up into thirds, so we're looking at this right here is a third of the cake. That's one, two, three, four segments. So we know that a third, let me find some space over here. We know that a third is four over 12. Okay. Now we're back at the same instinctive problem that we were before, where we've got three twelfths of a cake. That's this bit here. And we've got an additional four twelfths of the cake. That's this bit here. So altogether we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven twelfths of the cake, which makes sense because all we've done is add the numerator again. None of these things are going to be possible unless you keep the bottom the same. The bottom has to be the same because you need to take all of those things from the same cake. If you have a quarter and a third, you're not taking it from a cake worth of sevenths because what's a quarter of seven? So don't fall into the trap, which is a very, very common trap of adding the top and adding the bottom because when you think of it in a very instinctive way, actually that doesn't make sense even though it looks like the most simplest thing to do. So that is how you add fractions. 
both when the bottom numbers are the same and when the bottom numbers are not the same. You just make them the same and then you add it the same way. Okay, so this has been another Blue Pen Tutorials. We've just done adding fractions. Stay tuned for more. Thanks and good luck.